If Reality Check Radio enriches your day and life, support us to keep bringing you the content, voices, perspectives, and dose of reality you won't get anywhere else. Visit www.realitycheck.radio forward slash donate. Gary Moller is back. It's been six weeks since we last spoke, so it's time to check in at where I am at after using his super smoothie for six weeks. And plus, we'll touch on what he thinks the next step should be. Gary's on the line now, so let's get chatting about my health. Welcome back to The Crunch, Gary Moller. Um, you've got some exciting news uh, I hear about your cycling prowess. Well, I guess you could say so, and uh, this is relevant because we're talking about um, me doing what you've been doing. I'm just a little bit ahead of you, that's all, uh, Cameron. <laughs> yeah. So I, uh, I'm i now in the 70-year-olds, and I took on a record which I've been eyeing up, and that's for the Karapoti, which uh, is New Zealand's longest-running mountain bike race and one of the toughest, probably the toughest, and the 70-year-old's record was three hours and 40 minutes, and I wanted to reduce that, and I reduced it by 40 minutes. Wow. And in doing so, I became the first 70-year-old to break the magical three-hour barrier for that particular race. Um, if you break three hours, you basically become one of the legends. Uh, my personal best, by the way, for that distance, um, which holds the 60-year-old's record, was um, two hours and 45. And I'm fit enough today where I know if I have the right conditions, yeah. I can uh, lower it even further. Um, two hours 40 would be a time. And why am I able to do this? Well, it's because, Cameron, I've invested in my health and in particular my nutrition, yep. and I've been working on the idea of staying 20 years ahead of disease. And by doing so, um, I'm certainly pushing back uh, the barriers that are associated with aging. Well, you know, it's six weeks since we last spoke, and, and I was, we'd talked about your, mm. uh, you know, your uh, lemon peel or citrus peel drink. And uh, we, I'd done that for six weeks or so, and then we said, right, you said to me, right, you need to get on to the super smoothies now. That you're taking, you're eating your own. Well, I call it eating your own dog food, right? So you 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 say to people, you need to do this, yeah. and then you go and do that. All right, so you're doing exactly what you're telling other people to do, and that's how you're getting these results. Now, I've been uh, eating or drinking or whatever. It, you, consuming, how's that for a better word, mm -hmm. your um, famous super smoothie for the last six weeks. Now, people who know me will be sitting here thinking, oh, my God, Cam Slate has gone weird. He's now uh, eating fruits and berries and, uh, you know, smoothies and all of that sort of thing. Um, but you know what? I feel a million dollars since starting on that. I'm as full as a state school all the time. You know, I don't have to have snacks all the time. You know, occasionally I'll have something just to just to do a little top up. But most of the time I'm having breakfast and then a smoothie for lunch. And then I might get to dinner and I really don't have any appetite. And I, what I might do is just have a second smoothie for dinner or, or I might get a light meal or something like that around six o'clock. But I'm... Um, shedding weight but it's kind of weird because i'm gaining muscle as well um, and i can feel that i'm not doing a lot of exercise but i can feel I'm, i can feel the changes that are in my body so i want to explore the super smoothie so for the listeners so that they can get on to the amazing benefits that that i'm getting and clearly you're getting from these super smoothies well um first of all for uh, the benefit of listeners I haven't seen Cam for six weeks, and I take little snapshots. So I've got a visual snapshot of what uh, Cam looks like. We are doing a Zoom, so we are looking at each other. And uh, Cam, if we go right back to when we first made contact mm. late last year, 
The change in your appearance is quite remarkable. It is noticeable. You don't have the darkness under your eyes. It looks no. like you've thinned out, um, and that doesn't necessarily show as a weight loss because um, muscle is denser or mm -hmm. lean tissue is denser than fat. Fat's a little bit like foam rubber. You can get quite a volume for not much weight. That's why a person who is, who's got plenty of fat will float well, whereas somebody who's pure muscle might tend to sink. So you can change your physical appearance to look leaner, but not necessarily lose much weight. And that's one of the really important things to just bear in mind. Yeah. So, Kim, you're looking healthier. Well, I'll um, tell you the other thing that I've me. noticed, Gary, is that my beard, which was almost entirely grey before, has a lot of brown hair in it now. You'll notice. Well, well, um, you've got a you've got a good beard. I could have a competition with you on growing beards, but I uh, <laughs> wouldn't win when it comes to the um, the upper uh, layers of hair, unfortunately. Um, but um, yeah, there's a couple of things. There may be. Uh, the whole pigment thing, once um, once those little genes have been switched, which says grey hair, um, mm. unfortunately, it's likely to stay that way. Mm. But there's a couple of other things, the pigment, um, the quality of your hair overall. If we're doing our job right, will improve. The actual hair strands themselves should be thicker and stronger, mm. uh, which means that um, uh, your hair will visibly look thicker and better and more bouncy in your case, not my case. Um, <laughs> but um, yeah, so so there'll be those improvements and it'll also be reflected in your skin and nails. Oh, um, yeah, and, absolutely. And look, if somebody's healthy, they look healthy, don't they? And that's because the skin is in better condition. Yeah. Uh, so the... The outside, the outer looks is a good reflection of your inner health. And I think we can uh, put a big thumbs up for you on that one, Cameron. You've been doing something right, well and well, truly. Well, the, these super smoothies, you know, I, I was sceptical at first. You know, I've never been a big, I've never had, you know, wanted to, to get into smoothies or eating fruits and berries and things like that. I always took a manly sort of approach to being a meat eater and all of that sort of thing. But what I've found is a, a couple of neat little tricks. Um, fortunately, mm. I never knew these things existed. It shows how sheltered a life I had. But at the supermarket, you can buy um, little bags of frozen strawberries or bags of frozen uh, blueberries and, and strawberry and mixtures of berries. Um, there's a whole lot of different ones as well. There's like melon pieces and things like that. And the other thing that I've found that I can get at the supermarket is uh, like fingers of pineapple, which fit into my magic bullet quite nicely. And um, and so I've been adding, you know, fingers of pineapple into my smoothie as well, as well as all the other ingredients um, in there. And also I I chuck an egg in each one as well, a raw egg in the, uh, in the smoothie and uh, zoom it up. And, mm. um, you know, it's the other thing I do is I've got, um, I've got the Sujon powder, black currant powder and I put a teaspoon of that into each each smoothie it doesn't matter what flavor it is I just chuck a teaspoon of that in hmm. so that's what I've been doing and you know, as I said I feel a million dollars I've got heaps of energy um, I'm sleeping really well and uh, and I just I just feel a lot clearer in my head as well and I feel a lot better in my body so you know these things um, when you say they're a super smoothie I think they really are you know Oh, they they definitely are super smoothies, uh, and uh, you've actually raised a, a number of issues. Uh, the first thing, Cam, when we did that hair tissue mineral analysis on you, mm. overall it showed us that you were running on empty. Yeah. Now this is very common. I think it's a reflection on the overall nutrient depletion of our food, including organic food. Um, it comes down to the quality of the soil. New Zealand soil has always been poor. It's always been lacking uh, a number of key minerals. 
And while those have been uh, corrected to some degree, we must remember that things have been corrected for agricultural production, whether that's animals or whether that's crops. Mm. And it's not necessarily adding the nutrients that you need specifically. And by doing that testing, we've been able to figure out as best we can what you, Cameron Slater, mm. needs, not what Gary Moller needs. Yep. And the food that you've been eating, while it may have been the best organic food that you can get, it's not necessarily rich in the nutrients mm. that you need. By resorting to or by using the super smoothie, what we are doing is we are doing some basics like the whey protein, which yep. is referred to as the king of proteins. I guess it could be the queen as well, but it's the king of proteins. And then we tailor added ingredients to give uh, more or less the nutrients that we think you need. So yep. what we've been doing for Cam is that Cam um, has purchased a whole lot of ingredients which are designed to meet his particular needs and also bearing in mind his rather dramatic health history as mm. well, uh, which um, you might want to remind listeners of, uh, Cam. And then um, Cam is combining that with... Um, foods that are rich in um, essential fatty acids, the fat-soluble vitamins, and um, and uh, the berries were rich with the antioxidants and, uh, and other wonderful uh, things, you really do end up with uh, a, a nutrient-packed super smoothie. Well, you know, I've also, one other thing I've added in there is chia seeds as well. I chuck in right. um, a couple of teaspoons of chia seeds into my uh into my super smoothie. But yeah, I mean, you've got me on, um, you know, the basics uh, that, that you list on, on the website and um, people can search. It's easy yeah. to find. Just search Gary's super smoothie or Gary Moller's super smoothie. You'll get the link straight away and it tells you what you need to put in there. And so, uh, yes, for people, they can, they can do, um, they can do some basics. And yeah. if they then do the testing, the head tissue mineral analysis testing, that can help them to refine uh, things further and and therefore get better results. Now, there's some key basic ones that everybody probably needs to have, isn't there, in their super smoothie? Right. So, so obviously the whey pro protein. Yeah. Um, um, yes, I, I would um, say whey protein. Yep. Uh, and then collagen. And, and that helps with chlorine. the hair growth, doesn't it? Collagen helps with the hair growth and fingernails and things like well, that. Well, um, let's go a little bit further. You can type, just do, just use uh, Google to do this for you. Just mm -hmm. type into Google taurine and inflammation, uh, taurine immune system, taurine osteoporosis, taurine arthritis, and so on, and do the same with collagen. Um, type in um, neuroinflammation. Hmm. Uh, you can even go even dive even deeper, and you can type uh, also N-acetylcysteine is another one which uh, we should add on to that list as being um, commonly known highly as beneficial. NAC. NAC, not to be confused with an airline that used to exist, hmm. and. Um, and type in all those keywords. You can also type in words like cancer, like um, just type into Google whey protein and cancer survival. And what you will see is um, good evidence that um, cancer, which is a wasting disease, can be countered to some degree simply by giving somebody a whey protein smoothie. In other words, if you give somebody a whey protein smoothie, or if you had 100 people with cancer, give them a whey protein smoothie, they're more likely to survive, and so on. So if you go through and just do those key searches, another area with um, typing is heart. Um, put in cardiomyopathy or heart failure, 
or um, words like that. And, and that's very relevant in this COVID era to be looking at things which, um, or substances, nutrients, which help um, protect the heart, the cardiovascular system. Mm. Um, also, of course, ke- another key word area is stroke. And, yeah, um, and looking that. at that. Now, um, yes, so um, uh, Cameron, you suffered a devastating stroke, which nobody would ever no, if we're looking at you today, mm. um, we wouldn't believe it. Um, but let's talk a little bit the, about the, the neurosurgeon told me I'd never use my right arm again. Right, so that, oh, I'm, it's I'm, I'm back shooting. Um, you know, I'm, I can beat most people that I that I'm in a competition with, and whatever discipline I choose, um, be it pistols or shotguns or whatever. Um, I, there's very little impairment now. Uh, in mm. that right arm, and you know, I've done the work for it. Though you know, I've spent a, a four or five years at, at physiotherapy, um, but now you know, I'm I'm down to the small percentages that are left, and that's where I'm finding the addition of uh, these things that you've suggested I put into my super smoothie uh, mm. are making small incremental gains. And and the one that's the most interesting is the beta alanine. Because when you start drinking the smoothie, within about five minutes of of drinking it, you get this tingling sensation that starts around the base yeah. of the of your skull and then moves out, radiates across your shoulders and then down your arms and down into your fingers and then down through your body and down to your toes. And it's just it's like there's like little nanobots that are turning themselves on under the skin and giving you this tingling feeling. And it's Seems a little bit disconcerting at the time, but then you realise to yourself, well, actually, that shows the nerve endings are starting to rebuild, and that, and I'm starting to get those feelings back in my fingers. You know, like like I can now wiggle my fingers like this. You know, I can now start typing with my right hand. That's only happened in the last couple of months. You know, that I can do those sorts of things. So. I'm noticing all these changes and, you know, some of the things that you know, said before, you know, would be particularly useful for people who are suffering arthritis, uh, particularly uh, women as well with osteoporosis. Um, you know, that, that's right. largely, largely a women's disease uh, in, in New Zealand or around the world. And um, if they start doing these super smoothies and, and, and get the things that are targeting those areas, then they'll see an improvement in their life. And then the more that you do, the more that you can do. And it just gets better and better and better from there. You know, I'm, I'm leaping around the, uh, you know, I do about five K's walk every morning and I'm doing it. You know, I'm not, I'm not running. I don't like running. I don't like the damage running does to your knees and things mm-hmm. like that, but walking briskly and I'm doing five K's in about 40 minutes and on varying terrain as well. So on the beach, on footpaths, on, mm-hmm you know, grass and things, all those sorts of different things that give you these little micro improvements in your body because of the different angles and everything like that. But I couldn't do that if I didn't have the energy, you know, but I, like I wake up at 6 a.m. Yeah. and I'm leaping out the out the apartment and down onto Takapuna Beach and round the block and five Ks is knocked out, you know, pretty much before seven o'clock. Well, I think, uh, again, for listeners, uh, Cameron is a model patient or student um i would say um his uh life has probably probably been dominated by obsessive behaviors and he's certainly a battler and he's taken these qualities and directed them in a very positive way such that he's made the most amazing remarkable recovery I would I would put you right up there in the top one percent when it comes to stroke recovery. Well, just to give you an uh, example, you you yeah. know about bit about these things. You've worked for ACC and mm. things like that. The size of the damage in my brain was two centimeters across, mm. two centimeters across in the front left of my brain. That, that's when you hold up two you know fingers two centimeters apart. That's a, a big dead spot 
you know, for, <laughs> for, for about three or four years, yeah. I could actually feel that dead spot in my brain. I could feel the deadness that was there. It was like a weight that I could feel. Uh, I don't have those feelings anymore uh, in there. You know, maybe I've rewired my brain around it and those dead ends no longer exist or they've been absorbed or whatever. The brain is an amazing thing, but you have to work it and you have to work it regularly, repetitively and monotonously sometimes to retrain yourself to do the things that you used to do or enjoy. But I maintain your, that your anybody brain, can uh... recover. Yeah, your brain's like any other organ or structure in your body. If you don't use it, you lose it. And mm. if you want to make it stronger and more functional, you need to place it under a, a, a balance between stress and recovery, stress and recovery. But that also includes supplying the building blocks for mm. building a nice, healthy brain for neurons, brain cells and to be able to manufacture the neurotransmitters and so on. Yeah. Now, if uh, listeners do some searches, for example, you can type into Google neuroregeneration and taurine, neuroregeneration and beta alanine. That's the one that makes you tingly. Yeah, your tingly, your tingly yeah. stuff. And you can type in acetyl alcarnitine or carnitine um, and neuroregeneration. Uh, so if you look, if you do that kind of search, you will see the, ex it'll be mind blowing, exciting, thrilling when you see the role of uh, those nutrients for basically building a healthy brain. And when somebody suffered any kind of brain injury, whether it's stroke or um falling off their bicycle and whacking their head or something like that. Um, it's absolutely essential that we supply the building blocks that we know of that are necessary for neuroregeneration. But you can also do a similar search, as I've said before, neuroinflammation. And that's particularly, again, relevant in this COVID era when we're talking about inflammation driven by spike protein. So if you're thinking of things like tinnitus, um, difficulty with tracking or focusing with the eyes, um, uh, difficulties with balance, seasickness, and so on, um, which may be associated with the COVID vaccine. Um, this is where these super smoothie ingredients become particularly important. Yeah, that so list of exciting. ingredients. Yeah, those list of ingredients you gave me, they all come, you, you get this box, you know, for listeners, you get this big box arrives from Gary and you, and there's all these powders. Everything's powdered. There's no tablets in this, right? Because And why is that, um, why is that, Gary? Why do you well, um, have all these supplements in powdered form? Well, to give you an idea, a set of tablets that might be equivalent, might be $100, a New Zealand sourced powder might be $35. So it's a no-brainer from that point of view for saving you some dollars. Uh, the other thing is, um, hey, if you can put it into a delicious smoothie, why take pills? Yeah, so you suggest uh, when you get these to mix them all together. So, you know, what yeah, I did so, is I, I went and got a plastic bucket because yeah. there's quite a lot of powder, right? Uh, I don't think there's any mixing bowls that are big enough. Um, yeah, so I, I, I've got a couple of really big ones, but yeah, that, that was overflowing both of them. So it was a bucket for me. And I just tipped everything through a sieve. And I actually bought two buckets, right? I tipped everything through a sieve first into the into the bucket. And then I put everything in that bucket back through the sieve into the second bucket. And then I put it into the containers that I could put in the cupboard away from the sun and uh, away from the light and all of that sort of thing, airtight containers. So uh, yeah. it's a bit of fun. There's powder goes everywhere when you're mixing it all up. But um, <laughs> then, then all you need to do is uh, when you're making your smoothie, you put in your your um, you know almond milk if you want to use yep. that, or or high protein milk, and then you just put in three three. I put in three tablespoons into my into my smoothie each time and. 
because you've mixed it all into a bucket, it's all in the right proportions that, right. that, that Gary's recommended. And this is the important thing, right? You First of all, you've got to contact Gary, and then you've got to get a hair test done because then he knows what to say is needed for your particular nutrients. And then you can get all the things for the super smoothie. That's the right process, isn't it? Yeah, that's uh, that's the ideal. Um, if somebody doesn't, if, if somebody's in good health, not on medication, not struggling with chronic health issues, then they could bypass the, uh, the testing side of things. Uh, but if they do have chronic health issues, then it's best that they get tested and uh, take it from there. Um, it's the process that we did with uh, Cameron, you know, bearing in mind, he, uh, he, Cameron, you had a um, major mm. health um, incident. And there was also the question, because of your shooting, that there may be lead Mm. and other contaminants in your body, which may have led to the stroke. Now, in that test, we didn't no see lead. anything. However, a number of things like the strange goings-on with potassium mm -hmm. and also some dodgy-looking things going on with calcium and magnesium on the testing that we did, yep. it doesn't eliminate completely the possibility of lead and other contaminants buried deep within your body. You see, when we do a hair tissue test, we're looking at what's coming out of your body. Yeah, Contaminants like lead are sequestered deep in the body in fat and in bone. It includes the brain. And if you are not actively excreting it because of um, a lack of the nutrient support and also perhaps the interfering effect of certain medications mm. um, which you are on, then we may not initially see the lead because it's buried, sequestered. Mm. Now, we are waiting for another test to come through. It's now time. Yep. And when we get the next test, the hair that has been growing, that Cam is clipping and going to be testing may contain the residues of having mobilized and removed some of those contaminants. And so we may pick it up on the second test. Yeah. Well, and so I need to, I'm I need to trim wondering, my beard again now. <laughs> ooh, yes. Now, um, and by the way, your beard will be good for that because it is slow growing compared to the scalp hair. Yeah. So it's more likely to hold a record of a detoxification. So that's what we'd be looking for, Cameron. Well, that's what we've and, been doing, isn't it? We we did the the citrus peel uh, yeah. uh, drink to detox, yes. particularly the liver, but um, to detox the body, and then we moved on to the protein. Um, yeah. Still keeping some of those in, same ingredients <laughs> that are in the lemon peel. Yeah, you know, I'm putting in the black currant. Um, yes. powder and those sorts of things. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to be really interested to see what the next uh, is. I'd like about. to just add that black currant, the New Zealand black currant, and by the way, a heap teaspoon of um, the freeze-dried powder, which that's the Sujon one which you're using, which comes from Nelson, mm. that is the equivalent to a full gla a full cup of uh, fresh-picked black currant berries. So it's a it's a good dose that you're getting, and it is a source of quercetin. And uh, again, listeners should type into Google quercetin and just health benefits, but also quercetin COVID-19, quercetin iono4. Um, it's a it's a it's a nutrient that sucks that helps the transfer of nutrients across the cell wall, the cell membrane, to help get nutrients into your cells, where which is where it needs to be, and also to remove toxins out of the cells. Look it up, and people will see why black currant is so valuable and why, well, in fact, all of those very dark berries have got major health benefits. Black currant is right there at the top, though. It's the best. Yeah, and I'm putting I'm putting uh, that powder, the freeze dried powder, into each super smoothie. 
Um, but there's also I'm also getting black currants and blueberries and things from the you know the frozen um, berries that I'm putting in as well. Yeah, um, go for it, Cameron. So and, yeah. Um, now, um, just uh, again, um, I think it is worth just uh, reminding listeners if they haven't heard of the health benefits of citrus peel. It's not the citrus juice, it's the peel. Mm. Uh, the best thing to do is to just simply type into Google Gary Moller citrus peel recipe and you'll find it there. Now, the again, Type into Google citrus peel and words like cardiovascular disease, arteriosclerosis, um, immune system. Oh, um, type in uh, citrus peel cancer and you will see that researchers use words like compelling, okay, potent. These are words that researchers normally never use. That's referring to a fruit that you should be able to find somewhere in your neighborhood, okay, for next to nothing. It is such a potent nutrient, but it is the peel. And you can also type in things like cognitive function. You'll see that it's a, uh, it does have preventive effects against uh, Alzheimer's dementia. Think of neuroinflammation. Again, all of the things that, by the way, are beneficial for Cameron Slater. Yeah. Totally. So you've done, and of course, um, type in detoxification. Also, citrus peel is an antiparasitic. If you've got parasites in your gut, in particular, then having a bolus of uh, citrus peel uh, making its way through your gut helps to basically hoover out any bugs that shouldn't be there like worms. It's pretty cool. It is pretty cool. It's uh, amazing the difference it makes. You know, when the, the first couple of weeks I was taking, you know, the citrus peel drink, I'd make a big jug of it up. Yeah. Um, you know, I had... Uh, <laughs> It, it it literally clears you, cleans you out. It really does. Well, Not in, a, in an like explosive to, way, but um, yeah. it, certainly you know that um, things are working properly. Um, Cameron, it's always better to be a little bit on the loose side than to be constipated from yeah. a health point of view. Yeah. Um, the other thing, um, I mentioned cardiovascular health. I refer to citrus peel the oils, the, um, the bioflavonoids that are found in citrus, I refer to it as Mr. Muscle Drano for your arteries. Yeah. And again, look it up. Look at the research into conditions like atherosclerosis and arteriosclerosis and the use of citrus peel, and it will blow you away. Now, we started this discussion by um, talking about the performance that I did at this race eh? and, and other races. It's now been very consistent. Mm. And um, and to do that, I've got to have a strong heart. I've got to have good circulation. And, of course, the other thing is not only uh, are though, is circulation important for your heart and your muscles to be able to uh, run and ride and to be able to do a hard day's work, but also for your brain to work well. Uh, your brain is only as good as the blood flow. And that's why the citrus peel recipe has been so important for you, Cameron. Yeah, And absolutely. why it's so important for the rest of us. Yeah, my, my mates, uh, we catch up for lunch every Monday. We've been doing it for about 25 years. And, uh, you know, the last time we, we had a discussion, then some of them had heard, heard it and... Um, Paul, who's one of my buddies on on the show, he uh, arranged. He got me to make up, you know, quite a lot for everybody at the group to get everybody to and like, have a drink of this, see how you go. Well, um, I had a few phone calls after that saying, "Wow, I couldn't believe what happened," you know. And uh, then they're saying, "Where do you get this? Uh, where do you get the recipe?" So I've been sending the links out and everything for that. Mm. So, you know, it was. I make up a jug every now and then, not as often as I was, um, because I'm getting some of those things with a super smoothie as well. Yes. But, but you know, I'm just feeling a, a million dollars. The other thing that I added into my, that I add into my super smoothie as well is um, 
is pine pollen. Hmm. Um, now, we might, people might think, why the hell is he, is he adding pine pollen in there? Well, it, it's a little bit expensive, but um, you know, half a teaspoon in each smoothie is you know adding things. Uh, the pine pollen has all sorts of things that uh, increase your energy levels, your immune function. The other thing that the pine pollen powder does, which is very important if you're a bloke about my age, when you you know kind of turn from your forties onwards, bloke's testosterone levels plummet alarmingly. Uh, and if you don't do anything about it, well, it doesn't really help you uh, with your libido and those sorts of things and your hormonal balance. So boosting that up mm. is going to is going to um, make you feel better, a whole lot better. But also testosterone is important for women as well. It helps protect against the osteoporosis, just the same as uh, some of the other things. So that's the other thing that I add in. It's tasteless. It doesn't uh, it doesn't add anything other than nutrients. And, uh, and, you know, I'm really enjoying the benefits of it. Well, one of the, uh, just a couple of other reasons for um, why a smoothie is good. Some people just simply have trouble swallowing big tablets. Yeah. And, uh, and when, you, uh, when you mix up a smoothie, it goes down very easily. And if it's done right, it's delicious. Um, one other, the other thing, of course, is that, you can be absolutely creative with what you put in, just like what Cameron's does. Or how you use so, it as well. Because yeah. what I've been doing, Gary, is I'll have a, a bowl of muesli and mm -hmm. I'll pour my smoothie over the top of it. Yeah, perfect. And uh, the, just one other thing that uh, people can add, which will add very much to the potency, is turmeric. Um, again, thinking about a month's supply, like a kilogram is about a month to six weeks worth, and a pot of this is a month and so on, or a third of a pot, depending upon what, what we've decided on. Yeah. Uh, but you can get one of those packets of uh, powdered turmeric. Um, I think it's Greg's, just a little wee, those little tiny packets. And that's about a month's worth. So when you're mixing up your whey protein smoothie powder, um, just empty one packet of turmeric powder. Now, when you look at these, it's about, you might three, say, it's about three bucks at Woolworths. You can get a Mrs. Rogers yeah, Eco yeah, real Pack, cheap. right? Yeah. Um, which is ground organic turmeric. Three bucks. Yeah. Chuck that in. Uh, you won't notice yeah. it. And um, now, here's the other thing. You might, when you're looking at these things, you might say, oh, there's not really enough vitamin C. There's not enough um, uh, turmeric. There's not enough of this and that. Think of um, food when it's properly constituted, uh, the, all of those nutrients work as a team. Mm. And it's a synergy. So two plus two equals six. Um, so when you combine all of these together, they work as a team, which means you don't need as much. Or a month's worth will then go for six or seven weeks. Um, and it's a, it's, a, it's a team, it's a synergy. Um, so, and that's the way Mother Nature intended food to be. Uh, you don't just have magnesium on its own. Magnesium and calcium go together, but they go together with the B vitamins, uh, which go together with the fat-soluble vitamins, which go together with the essential fatty acids. Um, it's best to combine the whole lot into a synergistic mix. And that's how you get, that's why we call it a super smoothie. Mm. Mm. Just one other thing, Cam. Yeah. I use the citrus drink, or um, I use it as the base for the uh, hydration when I'm out training and competing hard. Yeah, it's great. And what that. I might add a little bit of extra of if I'm doing, if it's actually a race, is I will add some extra sugar in the form of some fruit juice. Mm. But um, uh, other than that, the, um, the, the water which I'm using in my smoothie um, is the lemon water uh, with some extra black currant. The black currant has got a little bit of sugar in it, um, but here's what your, you and your friends will notice. When you have... Um, uh, this kind of drink, 
the energizing effect, especially if you've got a bit of NAC thrown in as well, mm -hmm. the energizing effect will be within about half an hour. Yeah. It's almost immediate. And so you get the immediate energy boost, but then there's the long-term effects, uh, which for me has been over a 20-year period. So every year I keep thinking, I've peaked, I've peaked. And then the next year comes and I have and I look back and I say, I've gained a bit more and I've gained a bit more. I'm now 70 and I've been doing this since I was 50. I was thinking, I've peaked. But every year I increment another tiny little bit. Mm. And when we are around these sorts of ages, the normal course of events is that we get slower. Yeah. We get more tired. It's called aging. So if we're feeling better each year, if we're going a little bit faster, if we feel a bit stronger and leaner, if our brain's working better, um, if our libido is cranking along happily, then it's kind of healthy aging, isn't it? I, I, I've, I don't use the word anti-aging because I think that's the wrong term. Well, I don't know. It's you look healthy like, aging. You, you, don't look, you don't look your age. Gary, I've got to say, you look a, a whole lot younger than than you actually are. Well, thank you. Um, it's been an investment, um, and it's been, I'll tell you what, it's been worth it. Um, oh, you're still breaking records. Oh, uh, well, <laughs> I'm, I'm setting career best records. Um, I've, I've been a runner all my life. Um, I've, uh, the running has been parked a little bit for a while, but um, cycling, I've been riding competitively since 1977. Yeah. And I'm setting personal records. So... I mean, if um, you can shave 40 minutes off a record, <laughs> you know, for, yeah. that, that was set, know. God knows how long, how many years ago that was set. But well, 40 minutes is a massive... Uh, it's not shaving. That's not shaving a, off a record. That's destroying a record. Well, and, and on, a, a on a bicycle, yeah, on a bicycle, it means that um, I would have been about eight kilometers ahead of the next, the previous fastest seventy-year-old. Mm. Uh, so uh, I, I think I can be pretty proud of that. Yeah, that's 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 how not bad. This, how but, did the sixty-year-olds go in that same race, Gary? Uh, well, I, I managed to beat them all, and um, <laughs> and, and there were there were some sixty year olds who, in the last twenty, I've been trying for twenty years to beat uh, three or four of them, and I did uh, get my nose in front of all of them uh, in that race. So um, I'm pretty happy about that. Um, it it shows again the importance of investing in. The basics of health, the, the the foundation of health, by the way, is not how hard you train or how good your genes were or um, anything like that. It first of all comes down to the investment in nutrition. Mm. You've got to, um, to be able to bake a cake, you've got to have the right ingredients, high quality and in the right proportions and then put together in the right order. And your body is exactly the same. You get that right, and then your genes, your innate talent, and all of that can express itself. Yeah. So we're coming but, up against time here, Gary, yeah. but um, yeah. what, what are the next steps for me? You, you want me to trim trim off some beard <clears throat> here and send that to you? Uh, we'll get another test done and yes. ca carry on with the smoothies, but with some little tweaks that um, – yeah, I'm, I've well, probably got about another couple of weeks worth of powders left, so I'm going to have to order some more. But yeah. um, interesting that you use the the citrus uh, drink as the base for the smoothie. I might do that, and and then I'm killing two birds with one stone. Yeah, you can. Yeah, be creative, uh, Cam. Uh, mm -hmm. Stick to the basics, but be creative. Now it is um, kind of stock take year, isn't it? It's stock take time of the year. Yep. So let's do a uh, nutritional stock take for you, Cameron. Yep. And um, and a, until we get the test results, I would say more of the same, just plug okay. away. And then when we get the test results, uh, we will, um, I'm curious, for example, 
whether or not we see any changes in things like lead, cadmium. Yeah, I'm real interested uh, in that. What happens with potassium, uh, your calcium and magnesium. And the other thing is we saw um, very low levels of things like iron. Mm. And uh, so we we need to get that, do another stock take, nutritional stock take, and then we take it from there. We will then make the appropriate adjustments. Yeah, I need um, to I need to go and visit the Westmere Butchery and get some more black pudding. Yeah, you're a black pudding fan, and oh, um, lots of blood and, in that. Well, it, and it's it's interesting that when we did the hair tissue test, um, it's kind of said in code. I wasn't eating enough and, black pudding. <laughs> yeah, black pudding, black pudding, and eggs and uh, mushrooms, bacon, and of course liver. All um, the good, all the good things. Yeah, yeah, everything. Everything's the, better with bacon. Yes, um, free range bacon, ideally. Oh, yes, yes uh, that's usually what I get. Free range bacon was running around, pre, you know, prior yeah. to it ending up in my freezer. Well, um, look, I'm, I must say, Cam, you look incredibly healthy compared to where you were. I'm getting um, comments all the time from yeah, people. Yeah, you know, um, my mates and. Um, they're coming up and saying, wow, Cam, what have you been doing? Your skin looks really good. You know, your hair's looking really good. Um, you're looking really fit and healthy. I, say, oh, I always say to them, oh, well, that's what happens when you've well, uh, got don't, that. don't let it go to your head, Cam. But, <laughs> um, uh, I think you can be pretty proud of uh, your achievements. Uh, oh, well. I'm certainly, I'm very, um, uh, I'm chuffed. I, I think you've done well. Well, we'll just keep on doing that and we'll see what other improvements I get um, because every there's always little improvements and I'm always focusing. I mean, you, you made a comment earlier on. You said I've, mm. I've probably been a bit obsessive about things and, well, that's that's exactly right. When I, when I was pistol shooting, you know, I was in the top five in the country. Um, at most of my sports are individual type sports where uh, I'm trying to beat myself because – I can beat everybody else, so I've only got to compete with myself now. And that's what it's like with shooting. Um, you know, everybody yeah. can get there or thereabouts, but when you're competing, um, you often have to compete with yourself because there isn't anyone around to compete with that, you know, maybe or whatever. Yeah, maybe, Cameron, we should um, replace obsessive with um, uh, more positive terminology. And that, uh, yes, you're focused, which is a good um, shooting term. Um, uh, and it's about um, uh, wanting to be the best one can be. It's about um, better never stops. It's mm. an ongoing, never-ending process. And and those are the positive qualities. Um, the, the thing is, Cam, I think another way of thinking of it is that you're somebody who gets things done. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it might be obsessive. I think it's the wrong term. I think it's just that um, you're uh, somebody who likes to see a good job well done. I'm target focused. <laughs> yes, right? of course. So, <laughs> but I, so I set my own targets and then I achieve them. You know, they told yeah. me I'd never use my arm again. I said to the neurosurgeon, he's wrong. Uh, proved him wrong. Went yeah. back and told him he was wrong. Sadly, I don't think he listened. But, um, you know, that's what people do. They, they don't like being proved wrong by people like me. Well, uh, I'm sure. Um, well, you, you like proving people wrong. Uh, there's no doubt about that. And <laughs> you have. And um, I, I always say it. It's sort of like an engineer. I've got a couple of engineers and my brother and a sister and um and uh, my my sister said to me when when somebody says to an engineer it can't be done, um, the engineer might sort of like nod and agree, but in the back of their mind they're already planning their solutions. Yeah, yeah. when somebody and, says that it can't be done, they're, they're actually betraying what that they yeah. can't do it or they don't think they can do it. Um, and well, and you know you get people who look at things from a different perspective, and it can be done, but. You've got to do yeah. maybe these three steps to get to that point. Bring in the engineer. Yeah. Well, okay. Gary, it's and, been a, a yeah. real pleasure again this week. We're, we're just up against time now. Um, but, you know, we'll touch base again probably in another six weeks. We'll, I'll get a hair test uh, organised with you. 
and uh, and then we'll just keep in touch and we'll bring listeners up to date on the changes. You know, I'm due to have some tests done uh, at the doctors as well, so we're going to see. I'm going to yeah. see what the potassium levels are like uh, in the next week or so. Uh, and you know, fingers crossed, we're getting everything in alignment and moving forwards rather than being stagnated and just waiting for things to happen. So it's been a real pleasure again talking to you about that, and hopefully our listeners have. Uh, found this useful. Thank you. Gosh, every time I speak with Gary Moller, I find out something new. I'll be implementing these next steps and we'll check in again with him in six weeks to see how we, or more particularly, how I'm going. What do you think about what Gary Moller has to say about super smoothies and a healthy approach to life? Let me know your thoughts by emailing inbox at realitycheck.radio or text to 2057. Thank you for tuning in to RCR Reality Check Radio. If you like what you're listening to, just like what you're listening to. Either way, we want to hear from you. Get in touch with us now. You can text us with your message to 2057. That's 2057. Or email us at inbox at realitycheck.radio. We would love to hear from you, so connect with us today.